Hello everyone, this is RTR here. You are looking at my play recommendations again. And this time it will be Thamas Kadar. Now you have been if you have been um reading my blog, you know you will know that uh, I've featured him on my write-ups before. But after thinking through, I thought that I would like to feature some of my older you no know, write-ups into videos and so Thomas Gada is just just the first one for today. And um Thomas Gada can play as a central defender or as a left back. And I prefer to put him as a left back because his stats at the start is just not good for a central defender. Now why do I say that? Uh his teamwork and work rate is pretty low. I thought eleven is a little bit poor. And he has poor jumping and heading. Now that this is a very important attribute that I require my defenders to have and that's because if you meet uh players or strikers that has really good jumping and heading attributes you know your central defenders will be caught off guard and be punished by a goal and so um uh, Thomas Gara, uh at the start when I first used him I did not use him as a central defender but as a left back and actually he looks pretty decent even at the start of the game where I first started FM2210 because uh we were in the Coca-Cola Championship League and for this kind of stats as a defender it's outstanding. <laughs> yeah, it's outstanding and just with 12 games he already he has already uh, improved in um positioning and creativity. That shows how much of ambition he has, you know. He's improving. And this is the first time I first met him, all right, after 12 games. Let me just show you uh after the, let me just, after six months, alright. Okay, this is his growth after six months. Now you might not uh see very significant differences because that's only six months. But um if you notice his physical attributes here, alright, his agility has improved, uh his pace has improved and his strength wrong, sorry, his pace and his agility has improved, and these are two very big factors that decide a good defender now that why is that so uh if you meet um strikers that has very good pace or agility like fernando torres you want your defenders to catch up or be punished by a goal and so uh, he has improved within 6 months his physical attributes and if you do not know physical attributes are the most difficult attributes to improve in your fm2 0 all right and yeah, that's uh my take. And uh what else has he improved? Okay, he has improved in marking and uh a little of composure. Alright, I'm not just trying to pick <laughs> out <laughs> or trying to just just trying to find out his improvements and it's quite difficult because it's only six months. But within six months I felt that he already has made uh an out uh, an outstanding improvement in his you no know, play as a footballer with 22 games under his belt i thought that his improvement was, was like no above average and do you want to know huh, for now what how has he grown in my game well i'm just going to show it to you and uh yes this is this will be the screenshot after the season after the second uh season sorry what I mean by that uh this is the screenshot of the second season after the winter transfer window uh, I mean it's just recently <laughs> and you can see that he has actually grown again in his in his, some uh, in his jumping from 12 into 14 well done and with his heading from 12 into 13 work rate has improved and marking has uh, improved as well and his composure with concentration improved Alright, let me just show you real quick again uh, his improvements from the previous uh, uh, previous um, screenshot. Alright, his concentration has improved by 2, composure uh, not really, uh, and you can see that he's becoming a better player every time I feature him. Seriously, and uh, if you want a wonder kid and you want to have somebody bolstering your left back or as a central defender I think Thomas Kada is a very good addition to your squad and let me just show you his position stamp right now alright this is my actual game and you can see that uh, he features in the central defense and as a left back 
Alright, uh, how about his personality? Okay, he's fairly ambitious and that shows really in his you know, growth as ambitious players grow quickly. Alright, and uh, finally, uh, he's actually very cheap. Uh, sorry, it's not actually cheap, but uh, very economical because it's only like costing me seven thousand pounds per week. <laughs> right, uh, and let me just show you um, the coach reports. Or uh, and yes, you can see that uh, my assistant manager Colin Calderwood features him highly. Oh, he has the potential to play at least at three point five stars in the Premier League, and that's good near to Nicholas Bediso's level <laughs> and that is really 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 good for a, a youngster now uh, another thing is here that Colin Calderwood believes Kadar uh, is fairly ambitious about his goals uh, that's good because he pushes himself to improve and you want that for a youngster all right ambitious personality for a youngster makes him a very good player that can improve fast and well and, and yep, that's about all. You can see that his growth is, uh, Colin Kado is very impressed. Kada has improved significantly as a footballer over the, uh, the last six months. And really, really good uh, player to have in your club. Now, uh, I would have preferred to, you know, to have his determination above 15. And how I'm going to ensure that, I will try by asking Steven Taylor to mentor him and hopefully he will catch the determination bug from uh, Steven Taylor and I will post up more updates on him as the days go by after he improves alright and that's all folks and if you like my videos please subscribe to my youtube channel at RTR Football Manager or you can visit my blog at footballmanagersite.com and yes I see you for the next video